So if you want to have a slick and absolutely mind blowing terminal looking like portfolio that you can actually type commands, you can have like, you know, everything that you would want with like ASK characters, your images, and you can have different kind of like commands that you can run this portfolio or this particular web page, which looks like a terminal. So in this particular video, I'm going to go through like the steps on how to create this one using a really awesome project from like the live term in here to clone it, to start with it, to customize it with your own, even to add some features that will make this look absolutely amazing. And yes, this particular is an actual terminal. It gives you the look and feel of an actual Linux kind of terminal based with different commands we are familiar with. For example, you can have like an about in here that's going to tell you like about this particular project, who am I, what do you do? So um, I want to have like maybe a quote is going to do an API call to get some random quote for this particular day. Uh, maybe I'm going to do a summary of who I am, right? Because this is a portfolio. I want to know who is this guy on this particular portfolio. If you do like some fetch in here, I'm going to have like different stuff, like who am I with some awesome ASCII characters in here and like different like resume, um, like my GitHub portfolio, if you want to like contact me. So if you go to GitHub and it's going to take you, even you can just like type in quick commands for like GitHub, click enter is going to open up a new window. Maybe you want to do like LinkedIn, you can do plenty of stuff, right? So you can have like um, a quick resume thingy. Uh, you can do plenty of commands. And of course, using the help command in here, you can find like different commands and what I absolutely love about the project, you can create your own commands with a really, really simple API because everything is already set up for you. So you just like to add the building blocks for that and, and you are actually creating your custom kind of like terminal based portfolio. So this will look absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this one. And there's one other command I have to show you, which is the weather command using like a really awesome weather API. So you click on it, it's gonna uh, like, you know, weather city. So I forgot my city in here. I'm gonna do, use London, for example. Click enter, it's gonna give you the, the actual weather, but it's gonna use as key characters to showcase like either sunny or cloudy, whatever that is. So that is, amazing and my blood. So without further guys, let's jump right into the video. So in order to get started with the live terminal or like to actually clone and install this, you can have or basically have two particular choices. You can just the easiest one is actually to go to this particular repository and clone it, which I don't really advise you. But luckily for us, there's an install script inside of here. So it's crazy like to get started with your live terminal less than five minutes, you can all you can do just go in and copy this particular one and run it in your terminal. And that is it. This will just go ahead and install the whole repository. It will run the yarn install. It will install the dependencies and everything. So just make sure to have yarn installed in your machine and you are basically good to go. So if I do that, go copy paste and you know, just like have to know where you want to put that. As soon as you put this one up particularly, you're going to have live terminal installed and you're going to have like everything is going to start installing for you uh, using yarn as set before. So just you know, give it a couple of seconds. All right. Now, if we take a look quickly on the project right here, we're going to notice that, oh, this one is actually using Next.js and it's basically really, really good because as we all know, Next.js is super fast and super easy to actually manipulate and edit that and make it, you know, personal. So that would make things a lot easier for us. So if you head over to the pack.json right over here, we're going to find, yes, it uses Next.js. It has a couple of different commands you can run. It has, you know, a couple of different dev dependencies and dependencies we don't care about. And that is it. Now, the main part, or the main file that you need to care about because you're not going to go through the code to customize this. Rather, there is a config.json and this is which like basically the file that you need to customize to make this as your portfolio. So you can customize a readme file, uh, customize the title of the here, your name, your ASCII character in here, your GitHub and, and LinkedIn usernames in here, email, the host name in here, like, you know, the host name of the terminal, like something like this. So where you say Slampinos, for example, as I spin was Ubuntu, whatever in here, uh, you're going to have resume URL, you know, donate URLs and plenty of more. And of course, which I absolutely adore and love about this, actually, you can customize the colors as you would like. So you can customize the light colors or the dark colors. So let's go ahead, just take a quick look on the actual, you know, the website right now. So I'm going to do yarn dev to start the development thing. And it's going to start the dev server in here from, you know, server like on Next.js is going to be compiled. So if I head over to Chrome and I go to like localhost 3000, there you go. I'm going to find live terminal in here. And, and that's actually what it looks like. So right now, what I want to do first is actually just go ahead and change from a light theme and apply the actual dark theme because the terminal is 
better in dark theme and I, I would love like to see like an, an, a button in here or an icon we can switch between themes that would be absolutely great maybe you can you could have a PR so if you head over back into the actual projects I'm gonna go to the actual documents so I'm gonna head over to SRC go to pages and I need to create the document so if you're familiar with Next.js like you need to or basically you can customize the documents by creating those files and you can you can customize those so by just appending the underscore tone next year, this is an internal file I'm actually editing. And of course you can put whatever thing in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like const um, documents and I'm gonna make sure this is equals the documents. So this will be the documents and make sure to export default documents. There you go. And that should be pretty good. So this is actually the document and it's going to be compiled exclusively as soon as I control S, this will be compiled for us. Now what I need to add on top in here is actually I want to change the actual class, I want to set dark class to dark name, or just to dark in here. And because this particular project uses tailwind, this will automatically gets applied on, on tailwind basically, and it's going to apply it to the whole website. And that's absolutely great. Now there's one more settings that you need to go ahead and change is actually the tailwind settings. So if you head over to tailwind config.js you're going to be able to change from media for the dark mode from media to class and that's just basically to instruct it to use the actual class annotation in here instead of just using media queries by the browser or by the operating system all right pretty cool now if i head over back there you go we got our dark mode in here and this is looking absolutely like 50 percent better than it was before and the next thing i want to do next is basically to change the configuration in here and just to put my own information to make it you know look like my own portfolio so here i copied actually most of you know the changes that i've put as well so for example readme and everything i copied everything and as well i changed the actual dark theme so i just you know manipulated a little bit of the dark theme in here just to make it a little bit more darker rather than just like the bluish thing this is the old theme in here it had like a bluish stuff but now it's it's a little bit more darker and it feels like oh i'm actually in the dark so this is and uh, this is looks like more of a terminal kind of like style okay so this is what it looks like finally and you're like for example you can have like the host name the username you can put help you can have plenty of different commands and that is that is absolutely good I, I absolutely enjoy having this cool theme in here and especially manipulating the different colors that you can you know mix and match to get the perfect theme for your own style and now if you want to actually customize this banner in here which is looking like an as key kind of banner style but i found this really simple website in here that does basically the job that creates this one almost the same way in here but probably you can find something better than me i'm not really that well known with banners and actual AS key code so i went through here to this website i go to like anc shadow choose this particular font you can choose both of them and you can do like you know uh, the different spaces in here and just put my name in here and I can go ahead and like copy the banner so if you click on this the banner is going to be copied and just going to be having this warning whatever I don't care about it if you head over back to the projects I go to banner instead of like utils bin then commands and this is basically the majority of your commands where they where they does exist so basically like what it what the command is going to be executing and what it's going to be returning for like showing up on the actual terminal and and plenty of stuff this is what basically gets showed up so i want to go ahead and like completely get rid of this one and i want to just go ahead and paste my own banner here for like islam mabud whatever I think I think I don't need space. Um, there you go. This this looks a lot better than I expected it to be, right? So um, so there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and Control S, and I'm gonna go back into this, refresh the actual website, and there you go. Got Istema boot in here. It looks wow it looks amazing i absolutely love this particular font the other thing i really want to customize about this live terminal kind of projects in here like right now in here as you see it only displays the actual name which isn't really that great with a portfolio and especially like a developer portfolio we want to see your image we want to we want to know or get better to know you and have like more of a connection throughout this kind of like you know portfolio image so um i would love to actually display my image in here plus like just do the the as key kind of coding so my image then plus Islam I put in here, or whatever like ASK code you want to display. So if I had what I did actually, actually just go in and copied some like my headshot in here. So my, my actual headshots. So I did like on the asset, I put my headshot in here and this is where I'm going to be putting it. So I'm going to put it to next to this particular ASK code. So first I'm going to go ahead, actually just import the actual headshot. So I'm going to do headshot AMG from, and uh, if you go back to assets, headshot JPEG, and this will be imported for us. Of course, it, like this will be imported for us by the, you know, the actual Next.js processor. 
and of course the next thing here you can just like add a couple of different you know html tags just to make this properly and with some styles like you can do an inline styles or whatever like alignment center and everything you can use flex and last but not least you need to integrate the actual image so um the image in here we're going to use our image in here and since it's actually an xjs so it's going to be like important for us and everything so we are in the right track in here so we want to just like limit the width and maybe some styles just to you know give it a proper style in between here and there and that should be good to go so um yeah you need to figure out like the src in there and that should be good to go so like you have an image you have everything that you want with that as key it looks absolutely amazing and the last thing I want to do is actually deploy this particular like quick portfolio or terminal portfolio and I'm going to use Verso. So if you're not familiar with Verso, it's just basically the creator of Next.js and it works absolutely flawlessly with Next.js, any Next.js project because it's actually the creator. So simply just put npx Verso in here and this will just like ask you to log in if you're not already. Now I'm already logged in and everything so I'm going to just like go ahead and ask me to deploy. I'm going to click Y or yes. And uh, yes, I want to use this particular scope, link to existing projects, not really. Uh, the name of projects in here, just like naming my same name, so it's my book portfolio, whatever. You can just like name it whatever. The code is in this particular repository. It's going to set up the project real quickly. And of course, it's going to start the actual uploading process. And this is this can take a little bit of like a couple of different minutes because it needs to run the actual Next.js build. Then it actually just like needs to upload everything. So um, here is telling me like auto detected some project settings in here. So do you really like want to override this particular settings or like I don't want to override this? And there you go. So it's going to start like putting everything. It's going to queue that. It's going to build it on the server and just like give it a couple of minutes and should be good to go. So after the deployment is finished, there you go. So if you just like go ahead and access the URL that, you know, the project name, .up, whatever, you're going to find your portfolio deployed and everything is working fine. Of course, this is not like a professional domain. So I really advise to just go ahead and like change the domain in here to more of like a custom domain and that will look a lot more professional. But overall, this is looking absolutely great. Just like to have this terminal kind of portfolio in a really really awesome way so anyway guys thank you guys for watching i really hope you guys just like this quick video tutorial just showing up like this awesome portfolio of how to create it on your own and customizing and everything in just like a terminal kind of style so i absolutely love this one hope you guys enjoyed and catch you all hopefully in the next ones